If I can have everyone's attention, we'll go ahead and kick off our media availability here. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone to Dover International Speedway. Uh, looking forward to an exciting triple header weekend here of NASCAR racing. Uh, we'll start our availability this morning with Ty Dillon, who is pulling double duty this weekend here. He'll be making his uh, NASCAR Nationwide Series debut tomorrow here at Dover in the number 33 South Point Hotel and Casino Chevrolet. Uh, he has one previous start here at Dover in the NASCAR K and N Pro Series East in 2010, finishing 17th. Uh, Ty is third in the Truck Series standing right now, and uh, he has posted five consecutive top ten finishes in the Truck Series, tying the late Ricky Hendricks 2011 Series record. Ty, talk a little bit about your series so far here in the Truck Series and what it means to you to be making your Nationwide debut this weekend. Yeah, this is a big weekend. Um, it means a lot for me to be able to get my first Nationwide start here, and uh, we weren't expecting it to come so soon. We had a, an opening come up, and, and to be able to do it in this kind of fashion, being able to race two races in one weekend, um, I think it means more than just racing one nationwide in the weekend, one one race in the weekend. Uh, it's pretty cool to stay busy, and it's uh, it's more of a dream come true. Um, all my heroes in racing have always ran a lot of a lot of races in one weekend, so to to do it myself for the first time, it's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to the truck race. That's uh that's my main focus point this weekend is is the truck race and getting through today uh, with a great finish and hopefully our first win and then being able to go in tomorrow and have a little fun and learn as much as I can for the Nationwide Series. Okay, we'll open it up for questions. Can everybody hear me? Just coming through. Okay. Okay, we'll open it up for questions. I think we got one right there from Ryan. Go ahead. Uh, Ryan, we give you the ESPN. We were just looking at the numbers. You're only the second rookie in the history of the Truck Series to start with five top tens to start the year. Ricky Hendrick was the other one. You could set that record this weekend. Are you a numbers guy? Is that something that you keep track of? I only care about number one, really. <laughs> uh, but uh, that would be that would be really cool to ha to have that record. It would mean, it'd mean a lot to me. But um, my main focus is winning the race. We've um, ran the top ten, top five a lot and top ten a lot. So. Um, I'm ready to go for the, the top spot. And um, I, I think if, if we have a good clean day, we'll, we'll definitely get that top 10 for sure. Uh, we got another fast Bass Pro Shop Chevy. So uh, looking forward to it, but I want to get that win. Okay, we'll take our next question from Mark. Ty, uh, now that you've had a chance to practice out here, of all the tracks you've run in the past, what does Dover most remind you of? There's not much close to it. Um, maybe a dirt car uh, around Eldora, around some of the short tracks that we run on dirt. Uh, it's so wide open and so fast around this place. Uh, it's almost hard for your eyes to adjust sometimes going off in the corner. Uh, it's it's super exciting, and it's, it's my style of racing. Uh, I've grown up on the dirt tracks and, and faster style uh, cars, dirt late models, 2,300 pounds with 900 horsepower um, going around dirt wide open. So... Um, not much similar in the car, but the speed and, and the thrill that you get from going around a place like this is, is very similar. So I felt right at home uh, first couple laps, and um, I think my fastest lap on the track yesterday was, was my first lap other than my qualifying run. So uh, I felt really good, and I feel like I have a good understanding with the racetrack uh, going into a new series this weekend. So, Okay, we'll take our next question from Viv. Viv Bernstein, NASCAR.com. Can you explain what opened up that allowed you to race here and also uh, talk about racing against your brother um just uh had some things come up um i, I think brandon gone had had a couple things he was scheduled to run run this race but he had something come up with uh another sponsorship issue with his off-road series truck and and uh something that he wanted to do over there and um kevin was the next one to drive it and uh, he didn't want to run three races in a weekend, which I don't blame him here. It's a, it's a wild track, and running just two uh, of the shorter races is going to be hard enough. So um, I was there at the shop, and they were trying to find somebody to drive, and I was like, hey, give me a shot. I'm ready. I, I want to do it. And um, uh, luckily, Brendan and, and everybody at South Point believed in me. Kevin believed in me, and a lot of the guys at the shop did. So um, very thankful for the opportunity to get it this soon um, and in this fashion. And uh, to make a first start at, at Dover. Okay, go ahead with your next question, Bob. Oh, did I, uh, the second part of the question, I forgot about that. What was it? Uh, just uh, racing your brother. Race my brother? Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think if I, I think i got to be careful around him because he's got a bigger picture in, in the series, but hopefully I can get around him and uh, make him feel a little bit of pressure for me. <laughs> go ahead, Bob. Uh, Bob Pockers, Sporting News. Um, 
along those lines, I mean, you raced your brother in the trucks at Kentucky last year, if I remember right. So what type, how much advice did he really give you? And uh, what do you, what do you know about racing him from that experience that you apply to this weekend? He's, um, he's my brother. So he, he gives me everything that I asked for. Um, he, he's a, he's a wonderful teammate and a wonderful person to me. So, um, he's always there to see me do well. And if I have anything that I can help him with, uh, as far as what I'm doing, I, I always help him. Uh, we're super competitive against each other. Don't get me wrong. We always want to beat the other one. Um, but we also want each other to, to win and succeed in, in what we're doing. And, um, eventually it's going to come down hopefully to where we're racing each other every week. Uh, in the top levels in NASCAR, and hopefully we'll be able to push each other to be one, two, and uh, put RCR back on top of, of the world in racing. So um, we work really well together, and um, I'm definitely going to be leaning on him this weekend uh, in the nationwide car for sure. Additional questions for Ty? All right. Anybody else? All right, Ty, good luck this weekend in both of your events, and uh, I know we'll be seeing you around and uh, hopefully back in here before the weekend's over with. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you very guys. much.